I'm here to introduce Ethereum 93 Quarters. So, uh, let's start. So, I'm Wansop and now working for NUNS, uh, which is a, is a crypto community in Seoul, where 70 people are living and working together. So, and recently, I like a college term. And recently, I organized a local communities developer conference, which name is EdCon. So, first, um, the 70 people in NUNS uh, are all the crypto-related people. But, including me, we do not use MetaMask and DAI to split the bill after we have dinner together. It is because it is really hard to find my friend using MetaMask and DAI. So, uh, actually, we use, in, actually in Korea, we use KakaoPay, which is equivalent to Venmo, to split the bill. Uh, because those services are providing the features to find my friend using the messenger feature. So however, as the UX uh, continuously enhances, uh, it is becoming too easy to send my crypto to my friend using the ENS. So uh, how many are using ENS here? Yeah, so many people are using ENS. Then, how many hesitates to use ENS? How many hesitates to use ENS? Yes, um, yeah, not, not many, but uh, people who use ENS frequently definitely feel that it is really privacy. So, uh, if I know your ENS, then I can very easily know how much ETH you have and how much DAI you have lent from MakerDAO, or even how much you got liquidated from the MakerDAO by just typing your ENS into the Ether scan. So, yeah, so Ether 9 and 3 quarters comes up as a lightweight uh, private transaction solution. So, uh, would you please figure out what does this uh, Ether 9 and 3 quarters means? <laughs> it, it's a kind of a Harry Potter, so <laughs> it's a gateway to the magical world where we can use the Mimble and Muspo. So let's see how it works. The so users can enter into the magical world by depositing your 20 tokens, and then they go into the magical world. And using the Mimble and Muspo, they can make some confidential transactions each other. And the relayer can aggregate the memory input transactions and submit the transaction to the uh, Ethereum using ZK rollup. And the important thing is that the relayer also aggregates the fees. So, okay, this is just. Um, and finally, uh, the users can withdraw their money back to the Muggle world, uh, submitting a valid proof. Yeah, this is just a brief explanation about uh, how it works. And now we're going to talk about the deep uh, technical details about either uh, and three quarters. So, uh, the first priority of the design was how much ZK Snares friendly it is. And the second one was how much ZK Snares friendly it is. <laughs> and the third one was how much ZK Snares friendly it is. So, uh, I started to uh, implement. Uh, I started to use the Mimblewimp protocol first because Mimblewimp is the one of the lightest forms of building confidential transaction. So, uh, its transaction output consists of a randomness and a value, and it expresses the TXO as a point on the on the audit curve um, using a Peters commitment. So. It can hide those secrets uh, while it allows the homomorphic calculations. So it is just hidden like this an elliptic curve, an elliptic point of the curve. Uh, therefore, uh, using its homomorphic hiding features, we can verify that the sum of the inflow values and the sum of the outflow values equals. So. Uh, you can see that the coefficient of the base point uh, h equals zero, becomes zero. 
Uh, consequently, so we can also construct a transaction using this uh, equation. But it's not enough to make a robust transaction. Therefore, uh, first, because the zero sum verification works on a cyclic group to prevent the overflow and the underflow inside the homomorphic calculation, we need to restrict the range of the value inside the TXO. And secondly, we also add some metadata. Uh, in our case, uh, we, call, we concatenate the ES20 address of the token we want to send and the expiration time. So the expiration time means that the, contr the contract will not accept uh, if the block number exceeds the expiration height. And finally, to make sure this transaction is confirmed by the both party, we as a Schnorr signature by the sender and the recipient. But the problem is that actually it's not uh, prevent the tracking of the transaction flow. So actually green, which is the most uh, popular memorable implementation, secures the privacy by having no account and cut through it. But in, on Ethereum, we cannot prevent the track of the uh, transition graph. So, uh, therefore, 9 and 3 quarters uses Zcash's commitment nullifier scheme uh, to hide the input, input TXOs. So, with the commitment nullifier scheme, uh, Zcash nurse allows us to generate a, an inclusion proof without revealing the commitment and also prevent the double also prevent the double spending by using the nullifier which is deterministically derived from the commitment. Uh, finally so we use, we append two more ZK SNARK proof. Uh, the first one is Inclusive proofs of the span text, which are inclusive proofs of the nullifiers. And the second is that the mimble and both probe. Because it is because we hide the input TXO values, so it is uh, not uh, it is not anymore uh, able to verify the mimble wimble using the homomorphic calculation. So we need to make some um, ZK SNARS proof that to guarantees that all the hidden values are following the Wimbo and the protocol correctly. Uh, the next part. So, next part is uh, ZK rollout friendly data structure. So, um, um, Peter taught proposed Merkle mountain range for an efficient uh, pan only Merkle tree data structure, and Green is now using that. Uh, in Ethereum 93 quarters, it uses a slightly tweaked version of a Merkle Mountain range that uses elliptic curve cryptography to, co to compute the old node. So, most of all, in Peterson Merkle Mountain range, every node, are, every node is the point on the baby Jutsu curve. So, we calculate the leaf node by the scalar multiplication of the leaf position and the leaf item. And we calculate the branch node. Uh, the branch node value becomes the left node y value and the right node. The multiplication of the left node y value and the right, right node. Finally, the root value becomes the scalar multiplication of the uh, width of the Merkle Mountain range and the product of all peaks. We call this peak value in Merkle Mountain range. So with this construction, um, a 16-bit Peters Merkle tree, which has um, 65,000 leaves, uh, achieved 10 million constraints while rolling up 64 items at once. Additionally, uh, because uh, from Istanbul, the cost gets cost for uh, elliptic curve calculation uh, reduces a lot, so it will be able to verify around uh, 256 
rolling up to 156 items at once. Um, so finally, we can jump up to the uh, total performance of the rollup with the Optimus rollup. Uh, just like Plasma, we can use a challenge system to skip the ZK snark computation. So, therefore, we can reduce a lot of gas costs uh, to verify the ZK snark computation in the on chain computation. Uh, therefore, in, Peters, in Petersburg version, uh, rolling up costs around 3 million gas per transaction, uh, but optimistic roll up only costs on, uh, about 147,000 gas per transaction. And in Istanbul, it only costs uh, around about 50,000 gas per transaction. Uh, we need to, actually, it's much expensive than the original. Uh, general roller it is because it contains a lot of um, ZK snarks proof to make the transaction as a some confidential transaction but it is still very reasonable because the original the bare ES20 token transaction costs around 50,000 gas to uh, 100,000 gas So as a result, uh, what we can expect through Ethereum 93 cores are uh, is a DAO and some DeFi product using that. So first, anyone can be a relayer, and they can decide their own uh, transaction fee policy. But to submit the optimistic wallet, uh, the relay should deposit some stakes to secure the private to. Uh, to stakes for the challenge system. Since uh, being, uh, therefore, being a relayer can be considered as a kind of a financial product, uh, which gives some uh, revenue uh, for the transaction, aggregated transaction fee, uh, against, uh, regarding to the uh, deposit stakes. Uh, therefore, we can also make a kind of a DAO system like delegating some stakes to receive uh, some uh, dividends of the um, transaction fee revenue. So the future work is, uh, first one is optimization, and uh, the second is layer client and mobile client. And uh, because if we, we can also um, get some instant finality if we roll up without the optimus roll. I mean, it means that if we uh, compute all the CK snark computation, then we can get the instant finality. But if we use optimus roll up, we need to give some challenge period. So uh, we, we lose the instant finality. Therefore, if we can some construct a network of the relayers, then we can um, not an uh, instant not exactly an instant finality, but we can off, we can provide some security of instant finality with the stakes of the relayers network. Uh, and uh, what we have to do is uh, definitely destroying the hard process. Yeah, the destroying the toxic waste. Um, so here's the summary. Uh, Ethereum 93 Chorus uses Mimbo Wimbo protocol and uh, commitment nullifier scheme together. Uh, and it uses Peterson Merkle Mountain Range for an efficient uh, secure wall. Uh, therefore, it, can, it is able to append up to 256 items at once. And uh, the Optimus wall provides deterministic front proof without any DA, DA problem. And also, it reduces the gas cost down to 50,000 gas per transaction. Uh, so this is the implementation. So uh, if you like that, please uh, give me some GitHub stars. Or, yeah, thank you. <laughs> or if you like that, I'm looking for teammates or teams who can support this project. So if you're interested in this project, please let me know. So, thank you.
you have four minutes left, so you can ask some questions if you want. Yeah. Um. Well, we have four minutes, so you can go out. But uh, there is a some demo in terminal version. Yeah, show the demo. Yeah. But only a terminal version. Uh, okay. So I already prepared the generated uh, proof, uh, generated proof and uh, some sample transactions. Posit some years 20. And uh, roll up some transactions. <laughs> so the first round is roll up two memory bulk transactions, which spend one coin base. So we can make some coin base by depositing some years 20s. And the second round is um, spending two hidden transaction outputs, which is derived from by the first round. So it means uh, we use we can use two input TXOs at for one trend one transaction. So if you have uh, some uh, removable transition outputs, then you can aggregate them to use for a one transition, removable transition. So as I know, many some protocol uses uh, two inputs and two outputs. So. Uh, oh, yeah. So, <laughs> there was a rolling of 64 items at once. So this is the result when we uh, roll, roll up 32 memory room transaction set once uh, in Petersburg version. How long did it take to build? Uh, pardon? How long did it take you to build it? Um, I started to design from uh, from the June and uh, finished the specification around on July and started to build from August. Full time? Uh, almost full time. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs>